Yo, hey guys, welcome to another Anime Kingdom pu -pu 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 discussion and review. So this one is on A Kami Got Kill Episode 8, and this was a really good episode, guys. So it starts off showing, you know, the fight from the la the end of the last episode, and where we figure out that Blotto's, it's um, one of the guys is Blotto's old general um, liver. Yeah, what a interesting name, liver. <laughs> but... Even though, you know, they were once friends since he's resurfaced as his enemy, Blato is ready to kill him to complete his mission. And that's also what Liver is going to do. He's going to kill, he plans on killing Blato as well. And then he shows, Blato, um, Liver, sorry. Liver then starts, um, takes out his, takes off his glove and shows his imperial arm, which is this ring, which is called... Black Marlin, which was created with an organ of an aquatic danger beast that controlled water. So his power, of course, is to control water, which is a pretty cool power. And he definitely has the advantage considering they're on a boat in the middle of the ocean. So there's a lot of water for him to use. But of course, the water he starts off using is like, it just so happens there's a bunch of these barrels lined up by him and he shoots them all out, but as, like pillars of water flying up and then General um, Liver start. He sends all his water from the barrels at Blato, and like there's like six or something of them, like these water blasts flying at him, and Blato just starts spinning his spear and just reflecting, deflecting all of it, uh, repelling all of it away, and pretty crazy, you know, water against spear. <laughs> but yeah, after that. The other, the other person of the three beasts, the one with the flute, he's about to attack Blato, you know, so like get him from behind. But then Tatsumi comes in to fight him, and like, nope, this is you're not gonna, you know, distract that fight. And they start fighting, but Tatsumi is at a huge disadvantage. The guy is so much faster than him, and Tatsumi realizes that, and it's crazy because he, he's even hurt, you know, from before from Blato's attack. And Tatsumi still is having problems fighting him. Then we see Liver controlling a bunch of water from the sea. And he creates it into this huge water serpent and sends it at Blato. And Blato just like... Just goes straight through... <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> straight through the whole water serpent. But Liver anticipated that. He pretty much knew since, you know... To stop it, he didn't want to dodge it because then it would destroy, it would damage the ship, and so he goes straight through it. But that leaves him at a disadvantage because he's where is he in the middle of the air, so he can't dodge or anything. So Blatos um, gets attacked, of course, by Liver sending up a whole bunch of water from below, and it hits him, and you could tell it damages him a lot because even like a piece of his um, armor from the mask side. It like breaks off. Um, at this moment, Bilato says that you know splashing a bunch of water around won't be able to qu um, quench his resolve. It's like quench really? Um, yeah, quench my thirst. <laughs> but yeah, and General Liver knows this since they he says that you know they fought together through countless battles and he knows Bilato's strength and determination better than anyone. That is why he's not planning on just defeating him. He's planning on killing him. So, Liver uses his greatest technique, Water Dragon's Divine Conquest, which is like a whole bunch of these, makes a whole bunch of these water dragons, and they all attack Balato while he's in the air. All different angles, just, and all of a sudden, it, Balato just disappears. And you're like, we're like, I'm like, oh my gosh, what happened? And that is when Liver says, is he dead? And I'll, he then, he's like, what? He looks up in the air. Here comes Blato coming straight down at him with his spear. And he says, you know, if you ever have to ask, um, ask that question, you haven't defeated your enemy. Which is kind of true. If you have to ask, Did I def is he dead? Then you no, probably not. But all of a sudden, like, he's about to hit him. And the guy with the flute comes rushing at him. So he has to hit the guy away from him. But in doing so, the guy with the flute says, you lost your chance to kill 
you know, defeat Liver. And we also see that Tatsumi's on the ground and apologizing to Bilato, you know, for not being able to hold him off long enough. But Bilato, his incur his incur um, incursio, his armor, turns off and he says, you know, don't worry, his sur your survival after fighting with an Imperial Arms is uh, without an Imperial Arms is impressive enough. And that's true. All these guys have Imperial Arms. They're extremely strong. And Tatsumi is standing up at least, not dying. Is a pretty big thing, to be honest. And that's when General Liver, you know, he notices that after sustaining sufficient damage, Bilato's Imperial Arms appears to, you know, it releases. But that, and he's like, he, he's trying to act all tough, and Bilato's like, don't act tough. Your ear is bleeding. And from that, you know, after using all those tremendous moves, his body is worn out. So, you know, they both can't use Imperial Arms now. So before they fight, Liver tries to offer him to join Esteth's army. And, you know, he could be a second in command position. To which Bilato, of course, you know, declines, saying he doesn't want to serve the, imp the Empire. And Liver says, you know, it's not, don't think of it as serving the Empire. Think of it as serving, serving Esteth. And that's how he was saved. You know, and that you you could do what you please and be feared by all, even those filthy political political officials will bow down to you and you know how he's pissed off about the officials because he didn't get a fair trial and all that kind of stuff and that's when Blato coolly pulls out his switchblade comb starts fixing his hair and you know pretty much refuses and says you know he he, he wouldn't feel comfortable I mean, he that he may feel comfortable in his current position considering how he feels about political officials but he is a defender of people pretty crazy to talk about a bunch of other stuff but in the end they decide to fight with their swords but before that happens liver like injects himself with this thing that he says since he's fighting Bilato he needs to en enchant enhance his strength so Bilato then like he has like this um, symbol on his thing and takes out a sword and then boom you know <laughs> fighting each other crazily it's like are they are how are they even hurt they seem you know it doesn't even look like they're tired out or hurt at all and that's also when we see the guy with the flute he says that he has a tr they, have, they still have a trump card we're like well what is that you know and as they're clashing swords you know one moment ching, and blotto just breaks through liver sword and slashes liver but uh oh and i had a when i saw that happen i was like i know what's gonna happen because what is his power he controls water liquid so what does he do he uses his blood as a weapon and just <laughs> a bunch of his blood straight at um, blato which blato realizes like just in time and starts trying to you know deflecting a whole bunch of them but even though he deflected a whole bunch, it's still a whole bunch hit him. But in the end, he still survived. Which, <laughs> you know, can't say the same thing about Liver. Because for that move, it uses his life force. So he falls down dead. After that, then it appears, you know, Liver is not dead yet. And explains why he joined as death. And we see the past when she goes to see him, you know, get him in the jail. And the reason he joins her ends up being that he just, he pretty much idolized her. So I'm like, really? That's your reason? Mm, I guess that's how a lot of people join, kind of, you know, they idolize people. They want to be like them. And they follow, you know, they follow people that you idolize. Then it turns out that the thing Liver injected himself with was poison. And of course, the blood went into Bilato's wounds. And Bilato is now poisoned as well. And yeah, so Tatsumi then says, you know, they need to leave and get him, you know, help. But the battle isn't over yet. All of a sudden, here comes the guy with the flute saying that, you know, that blood wasn't the trump card and that he is the real trump card. And he enha he starts playing a song and it and now his power not only can, you know, affect other people, but it enhances him. But and he just all of a sudden <laughs> super buff and strong, you know. So Tatsumi then begins to get ready to fight, but obviously he's scared because he couldn't even beat him before this, right? And 
that is when what's it called Bilato lifts up in Curcio's key and says you know to Tatsumi that he's entrusting it to him to which the guy with the flute laughs and says you know it's impossible and explains that the armor you know puts immense strain on the user enough to kill someone random using it immediately that's when Tatsumi's thinking like oh my gosh you know I would think that too like what yeah that's true he already got affected by the last one you know it, it didn't it wasn't compatible with him but that's when Blato boom punches him in the face punches him again you know like every time <laughs> he does before saying you know don't get caught in your enemy's words dumbass and saying that think about all the training and all that he's been through he's more than qualified to use it so the guy with the flute wants to slice them to pieces and avenge his comrades and he doesn't want them to just die immediately because that that would be boring and i'm just like really that'd be boring that's your reason <laughs> so he tries to talk you know tell him tatsumi about the compatibility with imperial arms and that if you aren't compatible you'll die instantly we heard about this but not really because he used the other one and he wasn't compatible but he didn't die Incursio is a totally different one. So after that, Tatsumi, he's not sweet at all, you know, grabs it. And right when, um, so the flute guy decides, you know, he's going to kill him before he activates it. And Tatsumi activates it. And right as he activates, it starts changing forms to suit Tatsumi's body. And that it's actually, it's, uh, we learned about, you know, what the, what Danger Beast created the, Incursio, and it's about this thing called Tyrant, which was a dragon type danger beast, which is pretty much just a badass, I guess you could say, that could survive any environment from freezing, like these super cold places to super intense hot places, like anywhere, by evolving and adapting. And even after being used to make the Imperial Arm, the flesh is still alive. So that's pretty crazy, and it starts forming and stuff. And it turns out Tatsumi's passion caused Incursio to evolve once more. So it's even stronger now. And yeah, it's pretty much, I thought it was going to change and look a little different. But it pretty much looks the same. It's just a little smaller considering it's Tatsumi, you know. So then they end up charging at each other. Boom! Impact. Fist to fist. But then, ching! Boom! Tatsumi just hits him again and just flies him straight into the wall and just kills him that much strength he just kills him and just like the guy's like Ugh, dead against the wall Blato then he's amazed you know at Tatsumi saying you know if he's this strong now he definitely will surpass him and you know says to keep moving and he'll be watching over him and then he dies and I'm just like Ah, oh, man, another person died. It's only been, it was only two episodes ago that Chile died. Ah, oh, Tatsumi then walks up to him, you know, he says he's sorry that, you know, even till the end, he had something that Bilato had to punch, it, punch him to realize his mistake and says that he will get stronger and learn to use Incursio properly. So it's okay to cry now, right? And he starts crying, and I'm just like, oh, man, Tatsumi. And I liked Blato. He was a cool guy, even if, you know, he had his gay moments. Nothing wrong with that, though, but, you know, it's just, oh, man, two people already, and it's not even far far from each other. The two people, two of the main guys already died. <sighs> After that, we see this girl that's a bunch of, you know over a bunch of bodies and it turns out that she's like I guess she's an assassin with a bunch of these guys and she's going she's being called to join a new group in the capital and guess who that girl is it turns out it's Akame's sister I know right like I was wondering before are we gonna you know learn more about her and it looks like we will she's coming back to the capital so um, I wonder if that's what's gonna happen in the next episode because that would be pretty crazy to see you know what happened between Akami and her sister so for the review I give it eight and a half out of ten it was a really good episode great fight had me on the feels train as well it was really sad it was like it was a roller coaster of 
crazy fighting. Oh my gosh, gonna die. Tatsumi's a badass. Palato dies. And then we get to see Akame's sister. Pretty crazy episode. I enjoyed it. So, as I always say, it's a discussion as well. So if you guys want to comment below what you thought, or if you have a question for me about something from the episode, then just comment below, guys. And I hope you enjoyed this discussion and r r r r view Anime Kingdom. Till next time, guys. See ya.